from posting some of the largest gains since September on Monday to pressing lower on Tuesday. It's been a wild ride already this week for soybeans. Michelle Rook is back with more on which direction things could go today in markets now. A mixed day in the grains on Tuesday. Kent Vita with Paradigm Futures is joining us with analysis. And Kent Wheat, the price leader on Tuesday. And how much of that was some of these Black Sea export concerns again? The ships are not being allowed to either enter or leave the ports, despite the fact that the agreement was extended last week. Uh, the Ukrainians are making a big deal about it. The wheat market uh, was able to take notice here today. And uh, that combined with, you know, a very... Uh, Still poor crop condition rating is what got uh, the wheat fired up here again. And, uh, you know, if uh, we can't get grain out of the U.S. because of a small crop and we're not getting grain out of the Ukraine, world uh, importers of wheat are going to really struggle here to wonder where their source is going to come from. Yeah. So corn got some spillover support from that as well. But how much of the corn rally in addition was just you know, strong technical performance and as well, maybe the market putting in some weather premium. Well, I think it was a, a good technical performance. Certainly, uh, we did manage to, to close here on Tuesday uh, just above the uh, old lows at 572. Uh, so that was a very good technical day. Nice to see that hold into the close. And then, uh, you know, also, I think the weather is probably playing into things as well. We are looking at a pattern here for the next 10 days that has above normal temperatures in it. Uh, really no precip whatsoever for the Corn Belt. Absolutely. What about soybeans, though? Setting back, was that just profit taking, uh, especially since we saw it in the products as well? Well, I think the meal here is the problem. Uh, meal prices are, are soft, um, you know, more than likely because of uh, hog margins to begin with. Uh, also, you know, that large Brazilian crop is going to find its way, I think, into Argentine uh, uh, crush capacity. And so, you know, even though the Argentine crop is quite poor, uh, you know, world importers of meal probably going to be able to find plenty of source. And, uh, you know, the combination of those things, uh, you know, with a much higher soybean rally on Monday just led to some profit taking here on Tuesday. Well, thanks so much for your analysis. Can't beat it with Paradigm Futures. We'll have more Ag Day coming up.